Have you ever troubled setting up multiple Git accounts within your local environment? If so, let's find out how you can do it in few simple steps. Let's see how the configuration happens in a high level diagram. As you can see on the left, the SSH keys are to be generated on your local PC using a key generator tool. And the tool will be generating key pair as public and private. You need to share the public key with the remote repository and mapping of the private key to remote repository will be configured on the SSH configuration on your local PC. When you are setting up multiple accounts, there will be multiple key pairs generated and the mapping has to be updated on the SSH config to the relevant remote repository. Let's see a demo how you can do it and I'm using a Linux environment for this. So let's see what are the generated keys available for this particular user that I have, that I have logged in. I can use this command to list down available private and public keys but for this particular user there are no any keys generated so I'm going to generate a new key so I'm using the SSH keygen tool which comes with this operating system so I'm using uh, Ubuntu Linux machine So I can use SSH keygen and I need to give a particular type. Type is basically what type of key is that. So I am creating a RSA key and I can give a particular comment for this for the ease of understanding later. So when I am listing down my all the generated keys then I will be able to easily identify for which particular repository I have created this particular key. So let's say uh, I'm naming it as my email at let's say test.com. So it's asking me a particular location where I want to save this particular file. And it is giving a particular default location. So either you can leave the default location by pressing enter or you can define your own customized location. So I'm pressing enter here. Then it's asking optional pass phrase. So if you want to add additional security, so then each time when you are committing, when you are pushing your commits to the remote repository, it will be asking you uh, for that particular password. So it's an additional security. You can either put a particular pass phrase or you can just press enter if you don't need to prompt up for any particular password. Then if you enter password then you need to retype, retype again so I'm just pressing enter since I did not type anything. So as you in this screen it generates a public and private key pair. Let's list it down using the previous command that we have used. As you can see it creates two keys for us IDRSA and IDRSA public. IDRSA is the private one, IDRSA pub is the public one that we need to share with the remote repository. So we are done with one account. But we need to have a one another one more account because within this tutorial I am going to walk you through how we can set up two different accounts within the local environment. So I am using the same command to generate a new another key pair. Let's say SSH keygen and type is RSA. I'm giving a comment. Let's say my second test test.com. And unlike in the previous example, I need to give a different file name here because ID underscore RSA is a default name which already have consumed in the previous one. For this key pair I need to define a name. So I am currently in my users home folder then I need to uh, go into .ssh 
folder and within there I can create a custom file name let's say my uh, will use id underscore rsa underscore work let's enter and it does not prompt up for any particular file because the file is already being given then it's asking whether I need to put additional security let's say no and retype is also no so let's list down the file name that it has generated as you can see it generates idrsa work and idrsa work public two keys one is private and the other one is public now all the keys are being generated and we need to do the mapping that basically for which private and public key pair will be mapping to which remote repository for this we need to have we need to define a particular ssh config file within the .ssh folder within your local environment if the file is already available you can update it or you can create a new file so in this instant a particular file is not available in my local environment so I am creating a new one let's say .ssh config and uh, it's saying it's a new file let's say I am going to save this file you can either use vi or nano to do to update this configuration file or even you can use a usual text editor to do that we need to open up the file again let's say uh, within .ssh config is a file let's say I'm going to create mapping for two different remote repositories let's say I have accounts in Bitbucket and github so let's say uh, I'm going to set up the Bitbucket account first let's say I'm going to host is the uh, bit bucket Com. this is kind of a profile name this doesn't uh, this is just only for the identification purpose and under this particular profile you need to define the host name this will be the actual host name to match when you are trying to commit something let's say I'm giving the name name as bit bucket .com. second you need to define the user let's say you can give actual user I'm using the test user here let's say test user and thirdly I need to define the identity file identity file would be that which key pair will be used for this particular repository let's say I'm uh, using I'm using the default one for this one so one account is completed let's say the second one second one is for git github and under this profile I need to give the host name let's say github.com and again I need to define the user either you can use the same user if you set up the same user with within two different repositories or you can define two different usernames and then identity file so the identity file that I will be using here would be the second identity file which uh, created idrsa underscore work so this is how the configuration file would look like so next what we need to do is we need to share the public key with the remote repository so all the local configuration is being completed with this so you can save this particular file now we need to share the public key with the remote repository first you need to view the public key that that is being generated let's say we let's say I'm trying to open up the idrsa work dot public key so when you view it you can open it in text editor and you need to copy this content like this 
and right click and copy the content let's say if it is on github you can navigate to the ssh and cpg keys so this is under the settings of your repository and you can create a new ssh key because the type we have created is ssh and you can give a title for this key let's say something let's test key and you need to paste the content in here and then add ssh key same way in bitbucket you can navigate to ssh keys within the personal settings and add a key give a label name and paste the public key and then add the key and don't forget to configure your name and the email address on the repository which will be reflected when you push a particular change to the remote repository so there are two ways of doing that either you can define a global configuration or you can use repository specific configuration if you use a global specific then me that means the name and email address that you have defined will be used across all the repositories and all the all the pushes that you are doing on remote repositories but if it is repository specific you have the option of configuring it per repository my preference is basically on per repository basis but based on your scenario it would be different let's see how we can do this first you need to have a git repository let's say i am uh, i have created a test folder and let's initialize an empty git repository here let's see how we can do this in git configuration you need to define username and the email as configurations so i'm i'm currently in a particular git repository and i can configure the username and password using git config command and i need to give the username let's say test user and I can give email let's say user dot email and I can see what configurations are there within a particular repository by issuing git config user dot name it will be given test user and if I want to test the email this is the email address finally we need to register each SSH private key with the SSH agent on your local PC once you register only it will have access to your private key so you can use ssh add and you can give each key which is ssh default one is idrsc so it says identity added and you can add the second one also so both the ssh keys are being added to the ssh agent and it is important that your SSH agent is up and running when you add in the keys. You can use this command to see whether the SSH agent is running or not. Let's say SSH agent. So SSH agent is running. If it is running, you should give the process ID here. Once everything is configured, you can easily clone the remote repository just by giving git clone command like this so the code is getting cloned without prompting any user specific credentials same way let's try to clone another project from the second repository that we have configured so we basically can issue git clone command and give the project name so 
So the second project also cloned into the same folder. So React Test and Serval Starter are two different projects from two different remote repositories. So this is how you can configure two different Git accounts within the same PC. Thank you for watching. I hope the video is helpful for you. Subscribe and like if you want to see more videos like this.